Hi, this is Steve Graves, Cal State Northridge Geography Department, and uh, we're going to try to run the Huff model, which is a business analyst tool which analyzes uh, store attractiveness. It's sort of like the gravity model, but with some extra features layered in. I'm going to use the business search tool here to uh, find hardware stores, and it should produce an enormous um, number of hits, uh, but what we want to do is to narrow these down. I'm going to just uh, select Osh and do it best and true value stores, just three. That leaves us with um, a far lower number down from the 373 that were found earlier. I'm going to click finish and those hardware stores should appear on the screen. Turn the base map layer off uh, to help things run more quickly. Deselect everything and make the markers easier to see. So there are my hardware stores uh, in the San Fernando Valley. I'm going to uh, select um, just the, the hardware stores within my trade area here, though that may not be as realistic. Selection, select by location, uh, select the hardware stores that are inside my source layer, which is the study area that's selected. Apply. OK. Now we want to go back to uh, trade area and create a new trade area. Click Next. Select Huff equal probability. Select Next. Hardware store. Uh, Dunn's Num is the ID store. They have to be unique. Uh, we're going to use just the selected stores, not all the stores. Click Next. Uh, we have a couple of things here. The distance coefficient, which is a measure of drag or attractiveness to the store, and it's a negative because the further you are away, the less likely you are to go there. We can assume that uh, the employee number is an attractive thing, so that uh, you would like to go to a store with more employees, especially a hardware store, so you can get help. And if we want to keep things open, uh, sales volume is um, an important thing. Click Next. And we're going to call this uh, Hardware SFV. And we're going to create reports. Next, what do we want to know about these people that live near our stores? Uh, we may want to find out how much they spend on sports and leisure or electronics, that sort of stuff. Um, but we may want to find out something uh, just more standard about them, like the, the demographic and income profile. So I'm going to click over here and click Next and have uh, it create a PDF for me and click Finish. And what this is telling me is that some of these stores have uh, some of these stores are far more attractive than the others. Uh, some have a much lower attractiveness. Um, I can't quite tell what the huge green uh, is for. Let's take a look. Let's open up the attribute table, uh, the trade area, and the object ID, the length, and area gives us an idea of which store this Osh here on um, on Sepulveda has 80 employees so that makes it very attractive um, and it is a large store with a lot of square feet whereas the Do It Best Center is reporting only three employees and very few um, square feet on Tampa, so it makes its trade area very small. 
chances are oh that these numbers here that are provided for us aren't uh, ideal so that the Huff model may not work uh, very well but definitely this uh, Osh here on Sepulveda turns out to be uh, according to the model really quite attractive. I'm going to minimize this and see if we can find that store. It's that one. Let's take a look quickly at the PDF that was created and we can go through um, each of the stores and the demographic profile um, for each. It'll tell us median household income, age, demographic breakdown for each of the stores. I will leave you to experiment with this and um, if you have questions make sure you come and find me.